Yeah. I'm gonna catch him with what? Stuns? Rupture. I'll catch him. Does get the pit and the Atos on the Lycan, but Underlord chased down and hounded by these Lycan creeps. Tombstone dropped here as well, but quickly finished off by the Ursa of the Overpower. As Big Numb focused down. Massive bit of damage from crystallizing that Maelstrom. White kill Underlord there. He's rifting, and uh, who's shying in? Slayer. A bit of overlap with your scepter, but still catching out this Bloodseeker while Ursa hunts in the back, kills the wife, and Sunstrike, not gonna do much, but uh, Laguna Blade, absolutely! Shows Pug chance ahead of everybody else doing it. And it took those nine months for everyone to catch on and be like, hang on a second, why am I buying Yules? Why am I doing this when I can just go <laughs> Brown Boots, BKB, Boots of Travel, Daedalus, Shiva's Guard? That's it, that, that's it. Throw in a Scardi here and there. It's an astral. Gets ruptured, but that shot catching into the two of them, and then Guna Blade connecting, crystallized in so much trouble. Dino can't get chased though. And Yule's up, stops Malik, but not for long enough. Rips into the Lena, while the Ursa now stranded without any teammates, trying to battle 1v4. Swarm, not gonna clip him, the BKB lasted long enough. Some strike off the mark as well, but look at these zombies and summons chasing towards the Ursa. Only held back thanks to the Underlord's Pit and Atos. Radiant structures Young G. are fortified. You can't go up high ground. Radiant's no walking up steps for you. Under attack. Oh, wait, Sl Slayer? Wait. My god. Uh huh. Slayer? He's found you, I'm dying. I don't know if Invoker wanted to come in here and fight it because he's active in PP and still getting more physical damage thrown his way. But that three round curse into that enraged BKB Nurse and maybe allows Crystallize to open up arms at Slayer. They killed off Lil, Slayer will die and Crystallize. Time to run away. Say bye bye to him. Back to Fountain we had a good light striker right here. It's Ironcrad from super long range. The Ethel ends. Is that drawn to the stage resist again? I'm not sure. It looked like it. It looked like it, yeah. Like, this is the thing. Like, who starts the fight for them? A Lycan runs in, doesn't feel great. Young G kind of has to be the guy that just says, hey, I have to tornado and I really do all the bash. Straight up. First hit onto the invoker. Kill him off. Death in a yeah, but The Pokemon's not bad. It's very legitimate. Oh, they're getting more. Yeah, they're, at the very least, forced to BKB. And now Ursa with his basher. Radiant's probably going to be able to stop Crystallize here. Attack. It's not fast enough on this. Let's see. Jaren Slayer yet again with the angle. Lines it up for the Wyvern kill and Dino Goblin. Ainkra, did, did he did he know? He just blinks yeah. away. He uh Young G walked too close to the creep that he the Ainkrad was killing and it got ghost walk. Uh, that's upsetting. And now Young G straight in towards the underworld gets the hex in, but look at the damage from Dino just shredding Young G dead for a minute. And it's us that could keep going for more. The Bloodseeker tries to face off against Big Number. Big Number's a bigger carry than the Bloodseeker ever will be. Bloody destroyed. Assault buffs. Mana cost reduced. Double damage to creeps. I mean, yeah, it could be that too. I mean, like, by even far, he has had the most impact this game. And this fight could be the one to end the game. The smoke, the underdying vision. It breaks the hex on the clock, but look at that. That's a straight for the invoker. Down his throat. And two heroes hit the deck. Incredibly quick move in. I do get a bash under the clockwork, but that look good at play. Close to crystallized. Oh man, it's a disaster for Punch Champ. The Winter's Curse just a reset tool as I'm dying. Brought back, about to die back. Call the Great Swim and delay his inevitable doom as he's bashed an abyssal blade and down by Dino. And the chase towards the wire and Astral flapping over the Roche pit, trying to get away from danger. Player. I heard him overclock, but he's got no mana left for anything. L says Ironcrown is the one to catch the Wyvern now. Future again. Same thing as last game. I, I crystallized lots of mana. Oh, the Lotus. I'm not doing anything. The Laguna Blade, Young G nearly straight up dies to it. And Blood Seeker, well, he's got himself away with that cape. As the Lycan is rooted up, Malik near death. A few more hits will do the job, but in the back is Dino finally crystallized. Malik does kill Aincred though with his little Wolvies. Running for his life from Martin. And <laughs> then dies anyway. Oh, that, that curse on the clockwork. And could be dying to the Ursa having all his mana burn as well. Young G with a meatball deafening blast pushing them back. But you forget this Ursa has ages still. So another rebound in, aiming for Young G. If they find his invoker kill, likely game over as he gets the bash he needs. Takes him down, gone for 100. Malik also fought back. 
having to contend with this underlord who still has the cheese. Back to full health, swipes into this undying. And with three heroes down, it looks like tier four is next on the menu here. The GG, straight up call. Dyer's middle tower has fallen. Uh, Sandra Park Camp. I've really just been on a bit of a deep line since uh, 14.